This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay. First and foremost, before I start this lesson, I'm going to give all, all honor and glory and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rikakwadash, from the brother Tazaman Kamath, coming from the camp prophets in Babylon here today. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us truth and well. At the water, Yahweh Bashim al for giving us another day to teach your word. And what we have here today is thousands of fish washed up along Texas Beach. All right, and it says a Texas couple walking along the Texas Beach came across a sea of shock Friday morning after finding thousands of dead fish washed up along the shore. And what this shows you is an omen. All right, now let's look up the word omen. Omen. It says, a prophetic significance in an event regarded as a portent of good or evil. Um, hold on. Okay. A potent in the Marion Webster. It says the meaning of omen is an occurrence of a phenomenon believed to be per pretend a future event. Okay. And what you see here is an omen, a sign from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai on what he's going to do, you know, to the land of America. But also this place is called Egypt. Okay. So when you go right here. Revelation 11 and 8, and it says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street, in the slucky, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Okay, Egypt meaning, you know, the land of bondage. Okay, and guess what? We're in our land of our captivity here, and it's called Sodom and Egypt. What is today? You know, the month they dedicate to, you know, to these. To these happy people. Okay. To these sodomites. Alright. And it says where our also. Our Lord was crucified. Right. Our Lord was crossed out here. You're not taught the truth of the Lord here. They don't. They don't teach you the fear of the Lord here. They, they portray you. God loves everybody. And um. That God loves everybody. And his name is uh, J.C. All right, Christ. All right, but see, this place is, is spiritually called Egypt, and what is the Lord going to do to Egypt, man? The same things He's done before. All right, let's actually prove that. Right, as I said, this is a key sign, an omen, a prophetic significance. Okay, a prophetic significance, an omen. This is something that the Lord is trying to tell people. Okay. Alright, with all these dead fish, you know, washing up to the shore, you know, polluting the water, which we know Esau pollutes the water. Because this fish died because something is happening in the water. Alright, it looks like it's uh, morning time. Okay. So, well, all these fish, you know, washing up the shore, you know, it's an omen from Yahweh Bashim Al Shai that he's going to kill a lot of people. All right. There's going to be mass death, you know, mass death in this land. Okay. But also, this was a, a sign in Egypt as well, <laughs> where Moses, which we're going to get the account of, had turned the rivers to blood. And all the fish died, all right, and 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 it stink it stinked up the water, which they could not drink, okay, because that was their their source of uh you know drinking water, and the Egyptians could not drink it, all right. But let's go to um, 
Second Ezra 15 and 8, it says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Okay, Esau, because all he does is wicked. All right, the Lord said he's mad with the wicked each and every day. So the Lord is not going to hold his tongue no more touching their wickedness, right? Which they profanely commit. <laughs> Remember, these people were born to be wicked. All right, they do everything against our Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai. And what he established, right? It says, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually, which will be the prophets. All right, the innocent and righteous blood cry unto me, the souls of the just complain continually. Okay, the prophets, the men of the Lord. All right, as we're in this in our captivity, we cry out to the Lord daily to get us out of the situation. You know, we pray unto Yahweh Shemesh daily, you know, to destroy this devil, to save us from our captivity. Okay, because hey, we know this devil's gonna come down with great wrath. Okay, and we have and even the elect, Lord willing, we be of that number. You know, they have to go with they they have to go through that trial tribulation. Okay. And it says, And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. So the Lord is gonna avenge us, man. He's gonna fight for us for what they done to us, man, and done to the prophets. Right? It says, Behold, because the Lord He's going to see Esau. Hey, some of the, some of the men of the Lord are going to be martyred. Okay? Some of the men are going to be martyred. Not only that, this devil has destroyed the earth. You know, polluting the air, our food, our water. Which makes us, you know, sick. Our brother, brothers got um, different, different ailments they go through. Okay? Different, uh, they have diseases, you know. Some brothers, hey, they were born with it. It's because of this devil, man. Verse 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, which will be America. Verse 11, it says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. All right. So we're going to hold. We're going to pause right there. I'm going to go to the book of Exodus. Seven. All right. And you see the heading says waters turn to blood. All right. We're going to start at verse 16. And it says, and thou shalt say unto him, all right, this is uh, the Lord talking to Moses to, to, to send a message to uh, Pharaoh, right? And it says, and thou shalt say unto him, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, that power of the Hebrews has sent me unto thee, saying, let my people go that they may serve me in the wilderness. And behold, Hitherto thou wouldest not hear. Alright, it says, Thus saith Yahweh, and this thou shalt know that I am Yahweh. Behold, I will smite with the rod that is in isn't in my hand upon the waters which are in the river, and they shall be turned to blood. This is the point right here. And the fish that is in the river shall die. And the river shall stink, and the Egyptians shall loathe to drink of the water of the river. Okay. Verse 19. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Take thy rod, and stretch out thy hand upon the waters of Egypt, upon their streams, upon their rivers, and upon their ponds, 
and upon all their pools of water, that they may become blood, and that it says, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. And Moses and Aaron did so, and Ye and Yahweh commanded, and he lifted up the rod, and smote the waters that were in the river in the sight of Pharaoh, and the sight of his servants, and all the waters that were in the river turned to blood. And the fish that was in the river died. You know, you see, you see dead fish here, right? It says, and the fish that was in the river died, and the river stank, and the and the Egyptians could not drink of the water of the river, and there was blood throughout all the land of Egypt. All right, so when we bring bring it back, Second Ezra fifteen eleven, but I will bring them with a mighty hand. And they stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Okay. So the Lord is going to plague uh, America with plagues of Egypt as before, man. It's going to be 10 times worse, right? It says Egypt shall mourn and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yehobah Shemiah shall bring it. Okay. So you see, the Lord is going to bring plagues as he did to ancient Egypt. He's going to bring that today. So, because guess what? He's hardening, he's hardening uh, Esau's heart. So that way, the Lord's name could be magnified upon the earth to show his power. Because in ancient Egypt, Pharaoh was he had his heart hardened. And guess what? The Lord... The Lord's name was magnified through all the world for what he done to the uh to the land of Egypt and the people. And he's and he and um and the Lord saving the Israelites. Alright. Same thing that's gonna happen today, he's gonna destroy Esau by nuclear fire. The whole the whole country is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be desolate and burning. And he's gonna be saving a remnant. Of his people, okay, and that, and everybody, all these different countries, is going to be watching this on television, man, seeing this happen to the land of America, okay, and then they're going to, they're going to fear Yahweh Bashim Yal Shai, man, all right, let's get the scripture that I had opened up with in the beginning. Matthew 10 and 34. And it says, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. All right, so the Lord is not coming with hugs and kisses and peace, man. No, he's coming with violence. He's coming to show his wrath, his power. And this is only a sign of it. This is only a, a little a little portion of power, all right, having all the fish of the Texas beach, the southeast beach, you know, washed up on the shore in the morning, you know, this is a millions and billions of fish, okay, you know, you know, that water is polluted, you can't, uh, you can't swim in it, what they call this, they call this red tide, okay, they call this a red tide, in Florida, they call this a red tide, all right, where you can't go to the beach because the fish are, you know, they're washing themselves on the shore, which is all a plague, man. Because of Esau, he's what he's doing in the water. But really, that all stems from our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. All right, so the Lord's not coming to bring peace, but a, but a sword, what, right, violence, destruction. Okay, let's get this. Second Ezra five and one, right? It says, nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come, that day which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Okay, 
And guess what? It's going to be a lot of people dying. A lot of people dying. <coughs> There's going to be a lot of people dying, right? Because once the prophets are out the scene, that's when the Lord's going to bring the destruction. That's when the Lord's going to bring the destruction. That's why it says the truth, the truth shall be hidden. You, you, you can't go on the internet and find this truth. We're not going to be out there teaching you. No, it's going to come. It, the days are coming. Well, the earth is going to be taken in a great number. It's going to be mass death upon this earth. <laughs> All right. Let's go right here. Let's get Job. This is Job 20 and 27. It says, The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise and the earth shall rise up against him, right? The heaven, right? The pro the prophets are revealing this man's iniquity through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, revealing this man and his sins. Because he's destroying the earth, what he's doing to the earth, okay? And all his secret uh his secret counsels, his secret tactics. Alright, we're bringing it up. We're telling you and warning you. Okay, that what this devil is the man that's coming to destroy you, that's coming to murder you, that's doing this to the uh to the animals, all right, to the water, okay, the water you drink, all right, the air you breathe, the food you eat is all polluted because of this devil. He feeds you GMOs, all right. We breathe chemicals, okay. We need your how about shot, man? There's no way if our butts around it man we need our lord man because this cannot keep happening all right and this is a key sign that destruction is coming soon So with that, Lord willing, let's have been edifying with a good about honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh by Shimon Shah by Shimon Kakudash. Till next time I say Shalom.